you snow at your boy chaos 23 game win streak okay looking for 24 over 5,000 BC. Justin 730s next to ride the short bus with the shiny helmet and the chin strap next to the bus What's up, bro? Gonna be the Pels. 18 years younger than my mama. Take a look here at Mano Ginobili. And he is also so good at getting his hands on the ball without foul. And an opposing player is on his way to the hoop. That's a real net. Excellent hand-eye coordination makes that possible for him. Well, it was the New Orleans Pelicans in their last game losing to the Clippers. And I really felt in watching that game that they needed to abandon the three-point shot. It wasn't there. The percentage was horrific. But yet they continue to try and knock him down. And I really think that's what did him in. I mean, sometimes it's just not there for you on the perimeter. And you can't try to shoot yourself out of a bad shooting night from outside. You can see the eye contact there. Gave a little nod and then burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. No doubt, Clark. A pair of teammates with a terrific feel for each other out on the floor. Mm -hmm. And guys, anytime it's real tight, you're looking for something that could be potentially a momentum builder. And that's exactly what that play looks to be. Davis setting the pick for Ronda. A good look from Holiday. And it comes off the front of the rim. Nobody even close to him, and he can't believe he doesn't knock it down. Leonard, the pass to all. Boom, he jams it straight down. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says thank you very much and <laughs> sails in for the flush. And those are the kind of sequences that tell you why the score is what it is. Next. You might not think of him as a laser three-point shooter, but that shot was there for him, and he had to take it. And I tell you what, nobody willing to put a stop to that slam. Yeah, great for the defense. That was a case of stand back, watch the show, buckle up. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't blame them. They weren't going to be able to do anything about that one anyway, so discretion, the better part of valor there. And it's more penetrating. Here's Cousins. You know what? That's what you like to see. A perfect pass leading him right into the shot. Didn't even have to break stride. Kyle Anderson, he's checked in for San Antonio. Pelicans shooting their first free throw of the night. And it's Mano Ginova with the finish. Right back to the basics there, using the one-hand slam for that. Doesn't he make the basics a pretty exceptional? Yeah, he does. They look sweet when he does it. And, and he better stay with those basics, because this game is still yet to be determined. 
Already his second foul. He's in danger of getting into serious foul trouble early in this game. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly <laughs> logical. How about pointless to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. San Antonio making a switch here. Ginobili's checked in. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. This game coming on the heels of their win against the Kings. And we've talked about how in the NBA you've got to earn your points the hard way. And that really wasn't the case in that game for them. No, there was no hard way about it. I mean, they got their points easily on dunks and layups against the defense that really didn't offer much of a fight. Now here is Holiday. 20 points for him last game against the Clippers. Yeah, but Kevin, a lot of those points came go. at the line. I mean, he was aggressive to attack the D, not settling, and really did a good job of cashing in on those free throws. Aldridge, this is Degay, and the foul goes on Jordan Crawford. That's his first foul. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, Greg, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. And how about the stingy defense there to deny that pass? Okay. That's good. Yeah. Holiday's got his first bucket of the night. Yeah, the drive to the bucket was that's great, it. but the finger roll was even better. Let's go to Doris Burke, who spoke with head coach Alvin Gentry. Yes, Kevin, he told me that when you're playing against a team that can finish inside as efficiently as this team does, they don't want to allow any looks easily on the interior. He said if they can't uh, them in that department, go. they'll be in good shape. Get Thanks again, now. Doris. Let's check out the Western Conference standings right now that we're here in the new year. You take a look at the Pelicans. And, of course, New Orleans tied up with them. San Antonio leading. Their last meeting was in New Orleans, where they were unable to fight off the Pelican. Alder. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. And it's more penetrating. Back to Ronda. Leads him in there. More with the bucket. I'll tell you what, the post play has been rock solid right off the bat. It really has, and they've created a lot of high percentage shots in the paint here already. Now here's Rondo. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And the pass to Moore. Back to Holiday. Parker with the steal. In transition, here come the Spurs. Okay, outside. Jacks up a three. And that is good. Okay, he's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. Swap here for New Orleans. And a quick review looking at some numbers here for Aldridge. 14th in rebounding, 18th in scoring, and of course, rim protection always at a premium. That's an important part of his game. Top 20 in Bloxburg. You know, you mentioned how powerful he is on the board, going full throttle at both ends every play. Crawford picks to Cook. Lee Baz was put in just the right spot. So that's been a big part of their offense in the early stages. I mean, their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range right at the rim. And Clark, they might as well keep doing it. I mean, attack the basket until the defense makes an adjustment. San Antonio calls timeout.
chance now to see which teams have been the NBA's highest scoring squads this month. Fifth on the list, the Pelicans. I just love their offensive flow lately. I mean, this is a dominant team offensively because of that rhythm and pace. Ginobili the pass to Alden. And the shot is good. It's got to be nice for them to know the game in and game out. His offense is going to be there for them. They set the pick. Cook kicks to Crawford. Pondexter. The dish to Cook. Pass to Pondexter. Shot clock at five. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. Crawford, no luck. San Antonio leading by six. Leonard attacking. That's good. Leonard's got nine. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possession. Diallo the pass to Pondexter. Crawford kicks to Cook. And another three for New Orleans. It's almost as if both teams are in a zone. Well, offensively at least, partner. I mean, neither team's done Jack Ditley on these. There's 48 seconds left in the first quarter. And Parker backs down. Honor Ginobili on the way. Inside. And there's Gabe. That's good on the assist from Leonard. Leonard's got his third assist on the night. Cook dishes to Pondexter. And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. And the Spurs making a change here. Green's checked in. 29 seconds left in the first quarter. Crawford outside. With the lead pass. And that one's good. San Antonio leading by five. And Aldrich slams it in. What a pass by the fearless Manu Ginobili. Great teamwork. The Pelicans have gotten eight of their 13 shots to find the bottom of the bucket. Here is Cook, covered by Parker. One second left. No good on the buzzer beater. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Spurs lead by... All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for San Antonio? You know what, guys? It looks to me like they're really in sync here, all on the same page. They've already got a bunch of assists. And keep an eye on the three-point shooting because that has been a factor as well. If they can maintain that current form, they can be successful. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. So the Pelican five right now. Cook out there with Reggie Jackson. And there's Cunningham. Then it's Omer Asher and Diallo in at the four spot. And the dunk by Aldridge. Now that's the way it's done. Take it up high and throw it down with everything you've got. That's right. Uh, Clark, he was not going to take the soft approach on that drive. I would certainly hope not. I mean, you get that kind of opportunity with little resistance from the defense. You got to take it. And it's Cook missing. I'll tell you what, folks. I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. Parker passes the game. Off target from outside. Goal 10. Pelicans trail by six. There's the screen. Cook kicks to Crawford. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Takes a three, and he gets it to go. Crawford's got six here in this quarter. And finally, it looks like he's gotten his feet under him in terms of his offense. Oh. The fuck out of here with that fucking bullshit dance. Christ, get out of here. Hey, coming down. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over.
volunteer to see where the Pelicans sit in the NBA statistically. Second in assists, second in field goal percentage, and they also show up as a team in the top five in scoring. Boy, this team is balanced and versatile offensively. And let's go back to their assists for a second. When you're sharing the ball like they have, I think it really builds chemistry. Forget it. Trust. This is a group that really plays for each other. Here's Leonard, and the Pelicans pick up three with their last shot. Back to Parker. On the wing, Green. The offensive rebound. They've been strong on the board. There's no disputing that. That's what the box score says, but still anybody's game. Diallo covered by Parker. Cook kicks to Pondexter. And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. Risky pass in a situation like that. Very lucky that wasn't a steal. Fortunate to get it through. I thought he was headed the other way with that one. To the middle. Kicks it out to Crawford. Three pointer. And Fuck out of here. Yet another three for him, Kevin. He's really been draining him here in the second. And the jump by Aldridge. And guys, right now, the defense mentally not fair. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run, don't you think? Clark to the hoop for him there. Momentum can swing on plays like that, Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on it. Great idea to pull up and take the transition three there. The D was in position to block his path to the hoop if he took it inside. Here is Cook, covered by Parker. Deep two from Pondexter. Another one falls for New Orleans. The Spurs have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. Ertinus. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. The Spurs have converted one of two free throws so far today. And the first one drops. So for the Pelicans, Cousins is checked in. And Alexis Aginsa subbed in for Kentavious Caldwell Pope. Oh, yeah. He hits both from the strike. Well done again. He doesn't have the same problems at the line that plagues some of the NBA's other big men. Goes up the baseline. That's good from Holiday on the assist from Moore. Moore's got three assists tonight. The drive by Gay. He dishes it to Murray. Back to Gay. Spurs working the ball around now. Green the pass to Bertens. Moore right side. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. That's good from Moore. A different look now for San Antonio. Aldridge has checked in. Alexander's in for Mono Genova. San Antonio's gone 4-6 from outside the arc tonight. There's the triple. There it goes. Count. 16 points for Aldridge. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Moore dishes to Holiday. Outside Rondo. Moore outside. The kick out to Holiday. And they come right back with their own three pointer. Holiday's got five points now this quarter. Aldridge drives in. And, and it's good. And now he's taken. in a solid opening in the quarter and built on it here in the second. And Steve, years ago, Come on. he's one of the best finishers around. I mean, he does a great job of using his strong body to fight through contact and get to the rack. 
Now here's Moore. His last outing, he had 18 points. They get the rebound. Second shot opportunity. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. New Orleans shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And, and on the season, you know, they're hitting about 76%, which is a decent rate. And, guys, that's really an upgrade over how they shot last season. Not a huge upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. So San Antonio goes with a fresh five on the floor. What? New Orleans has gone 7 of 10 shooting from three-point land tonight. Excellent numbers from outside. Holiday attacking. Outside Davis. Outside Rondo. Outside Holiday. Parker with the steal. Stolen by Holiday. Cousins. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. Out of here. And breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Pelicans. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. Yeah, also, though, they've done a good job of pounding the offensive glass. The fuck out of here, you cocksucker. New Orleans leading by four. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. Yeah, I've seen the confusion right there. Uh -huh. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Anderson, he's checked in for San Antonio. Get out of here! Time. Their style has become more and more physical. Boy, it certainly appears to be the case, Greg. I mean, they've spent a lot of time at the foul line this quarter, and that's the result of attacking the rim and being physical. San Antonio calls timeout. You know what? I think he had to call timeout right now just to get his guys to regroup because they were really ragged out there. Yeah, they've got to get some things straightened out and sometimes the best way to do that is with the timeout they look um, to be overwhelmed right now well, Anderson he's checked in for the spurt TJ Warren comes in for Anderson Ball's knocked loose. Spurs trail by eight. Parker passes to Bertans. Back to Parker. Kicks it to Gay. Pass to Parker. Six to shoot. Passes to Bertans. Down low. And it's going to be a 24. Get out of here! And they turn it over. And here's Rondo. New Orleans with the ball. They're on a 17-7 run. Out of bounds, Pelicans ball as New Orleans keeps possession. We've got 13 seconds left to play here in the half. Gives him the lead pass. Outside Holiday. Here's Cousins. Yeah. Clock run.
Runs out, and we're heading to halftime. And now the third quarter, about to get going. Some fantastic numbers here for Aldridge. 18 points, and he's knocked down a pair of three-pointers in this game, too. And maybe it's time for them to set a few more screens for him up top and let him add to that total. In the backcourt, Parker and Ginobili. Then there's Joel Anthony, and it's Gay in at the center, filling out the middle. So that's who Greg Popovich starts the second half with. And it's Davis missing. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. And Moda Yunus picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. They get it again. A nice shot by Aldridge. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. He feeds it to Moore. Gasol with the steal. In transition, here comes San Antonio. Got the ball. Hey guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. And guys, in a game this snug, moments like that are the ones we usually look back on at the end as a difference maker. And Holiday, here we go. Kick out to Moore. Five on the clock. Rondo can't get it to go. San Antonio trailing here. Here's Leonard. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And what the percentage of, of 82, he's been one of their more dependable shooters from the line. Guys, I like that this is a part of his game that has really been consistent this year. And the first one at the line is good. And it's tied up with that one. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Davis. Good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. Rondo's got three assists now in this one. Here's Aldridge. Over Davis. And that one's good by Aldridge. Aldridge has got 22 points. And the defense just gets caught standing around that time and giving up the second chance opportunity. You know, that just can't happen. They need much more effort than that on the glass. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. So far in the game for Crawford, he has eight points, and he's hit six shots from the charity strike, contributing to their offense. And you know what? When he's had the opportunity, he's been in attack mode. And that's what led to those points at the line. Kyle Anderson, he's checked in for the Spurs. <coughs> and that's a foul called an Alexis Ajayla. That's foul number two okay, for him. Out of your full court yeah, really good bitch. defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. More left side. And the shot falls short this time. That's one for their first four to start the second half. And that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. Some changes for New Orleans. Denied. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Cook, Cook. Daddy, oh, Cook's God, got here. seven points in the game. Spurs trail by three. Murray hits to Green. Hits the three-point bomb. And he's a great three-point shooter, too, especially when he lets it go from one of those corners. He doesn't miss many of those. Cook dishes to Crawford. The feet to Pondexter. Back to Crawford. A three. 
And it's Gay with the rebound. Boy, with an open look like that, he is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. Yeah, you can see he's still in rhythm, even though he misses that one almost always deadly when he's that open. Now here's Leonard. After the miss from Reggie Jackson. And they take the lead. And now a three-point Spurs lead. These defenders had better start closing out on those shooters. That's two in a row, and we call that a streak. Feeds it to Pondexter. He kicks it to Cook from outside the arc, and it's Gay with the rebound. Gay's got four rebounds in this game, and it's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Statisticals current. Third and blocks. Sixth and fewest turnovers per game. And they're in the top ten in rebound. This is a team that does a good job getting on the glass. And talking about the shot blocking ability, you love that mentality. No shot goes unchallenged around the rim. They make sure of that. You have to earn everything you get on the inside. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. And you know what? His finishing ability, not really at the level that you would expect from a pro, but he's going to have to start playing with more force. Nice bucket. <coughs> I mean, they are playing really, really smart basketball. IQ basketball, smartphone basketball, whatever you want to call it. Even though the lead's not that large, they're still in charge right now. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. And it's a nine-point Spurs lead. They're getting on the roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from inside the paint area. There's got to be a wall of defense when it comes to attacking the paint. Plain and simple. And he gets it back. Will it go? Pondexter, no good. And, you know, you can feel the desperation right now. They're starting to lose their composure offensively. Yeah, it's palpable, Greg. I mean, clearly, you can see the frustration. And it's understandable. I mean, right now, they're on the wrong side of a big run. Re really a heads-up play on both ends there. The steal and the quick push on the break. Rapid-fire basketball at its best. Boom, 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 bang. Here's Murray. Where's the fucking foul? Ajins has got four rebounds in this game. They owes the Kings after this game. That game is the first and last of their homestead. Get the fuck out of here with the fucking court press, bitch. Even better finish. San Antonio leading by five. Leonard attacking. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. I mean, much better off making him go to the line. And he's good on the shot. That first time out of the game called for New Orleans. Yeah, too many easy buckets coming from inside, and I think he wants to make that a point of emphasis. I would certainly think so. I mean, if they keep giving up those kinds of easy looks inside, they'll be in big trouble. Spurs make 
making a switch here. 27 seconds left in the third quarter. It's Crawford with the drive. Parker with the steal. Now here's the fast break. Parker leading the way. It's deflected. Two on one as they jump out on the break. A finish. And the jam by a Jensen. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there. <laughs> if, I, if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. Yeah, I remember GA as an irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And there's the foul against New Orleans. The Spurs have shot 67% from the line, going 6 of 9. And, and as a unit, they're shooting 78% from the line. That's a solid number to work with on the season. Guys, their free throw shooting has slipped a bit since last year. But not really to the point where they should be overly concerned about it. Crawford outside. The points coming in bunches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's been a... All right, the fourth quarter of action getting underway. We've had a great one so far with both sides coming to play. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Spurs. They really haven't backed away from running and gunning at any point. But their legs still look fresh. Something that's also benefited them tonight are the turnovers they forced and the points that have come along with those forced turnovers. So for New Orleans right now, we've got Reggie Jackson. Contavious Caldwell-Pope is out there with Omer Usher. And there's Cunningham, and it's Cook in at the point guard position. I am so out, and Green slams it in. And hey guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. And hey guys, in a game this snug, moments like that are the ones we usually look back on at the end as a difference maker. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. something for us right now. Doris? Guys, over that last break, I listened in on Alvin Gentry's huddle. He is not happy with the sloppy play offensively, saying, listen, let's make the simple play. Take care of the basketball. We can't afford to waste any possessions. Guys, can they clean it up? Spurs leading by eight. Offensive rebound. And Moda Yunus picks up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. The defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. And Green gets it to go. Boy, this game has really started to heat up. I didn't think it could get any more high scoring than it already was. Well, I tell you what, I don't mind it. You don't either, it sounds like. Good offense is entertaining, and that's exactly what we're getting. And Cousins kicks to Moore. Power down with both hands. And he just leaves the D in the dust and, and explodes to the basket. You're right. Uh, uh, Clark, maybe a momentum changer right there, huh? It could be, Kevin. I mean, a dunk like that can sometimes get an opponent reeling. He doesn't really scare a defense at all. We've seen him miss quite a few just like those. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Now here's Rondo. Holiday, the pass to Rondo. Dishes to Moore. The kick out to Holiday. Outside Rondo. Back to Holiday. Wide open look. Good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. Rondo's got four assists now tonight. Moore with the block. Right side Holiday. 
Who gets the whistle? Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. It's been a solid outing for Holiday. Nine points. And he's added a steal to his stat line also. You know what? The number is not huge, but he has been doing some valuable defensive work for them. The Spurs making a switch here. Gasol's checked in. Now here's Parker. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. On the wing, Green. Pertinus. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. It's Basically, Davis no coverage. I mean, defense did not look Davis very good Davis there. Davis Here's Holiday. And again, no good by New Orleans. Oh, and there's the alley oop. And it's Mano Genova with the finish. Throws on that ridiculous offensive sequence. You know, Clark, that dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley oop. Yeah, that just added more to it. And you know, guys, right now they're starting to flatline, just hanging on here for dear life. Cousins dishes to Davis, and three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. Leonard attacking, misses from close range. Pelicans trail by 11. And so they choose to intentionally yeah. foul. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. Count that one. Oh, terrific work. Finishing a soft move like that. The finger roll. Offensive rebound. Rondo kicks to Holiday. Will not go. This is off the front iron. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. And stolen by Cousins. Stole oh, my goodness. He has a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Yeah, wow. That, that could very well be a contender for dunk of the year and perhaps might make its way all over the Internet. I'll tell you what, that is the crowd pleaser of all crowd pleasers. And Davis gets it to go. Couldn't run the inbound play any better than right there. Here's Gay. That one wide left. Pelicans trail by nine. And he commits the intentional foul. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. The Spurs making a switch here. He's able to hit the second one, and that brings them within eight. Uh, a disappointing trip to the line there. Even though it was just one miss, now hey, it's not one the time now. to be missing those. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. They're all about imposing your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks their coach drew up. And he gets it to go. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And those team has fallen a bit short. It's not because That's of it. And the 24 game breakdown is starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. Yeah, high percentage shots are what they are getting in terms of the attempts. And that's just not going to get it done. They've got to figure it out. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. They're losing by 10. Done. You're on YouTube. 131 left here in the fourth quarter. The Spurs making a switch here. 131 left in the fourth quarter. And so they foul intentionally. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. Spurs leading by 10. The drive by Green. Pelicans with the rebound. Cousins has got six rebounds in the game. It's tipped. Leonard with the steal. The kick out to Aldridge. The tray. They get it back. Here's Gay. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Their prowess inside has been tremendous, guys. I mean, it's been no contest down on the low block. And until the defense puts up a little more resistance, they ought to continue to pound them down low. 
Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose egg. Didn't take their time in wrapping this game up. They came out with a sense of urgency. Nice ending spurt to polish it off. Once they had him on the ropes, they started throwing haymakers at him. The whole knockout blow. And so Moore nails both of them. Here's Green. Poked away. Tries to keep it alive. Out of bounds, New Orleans will take possession. New Orleans is... Here's Davis. But they get it back. Multiple possessions have been the story of the game. And even with the big lead, this team continues to be quicker to the ball. The good news is they've already got this game wrapped up. You might as well sit back and relax. Well, luckily, they've got some really solid backup. You hate to see a player DQ disqualified due to fouls, but they can do a decent job of replacing his production. Here's what San Antonio is going with right now. Gasol's champion. And it's T.J. Warren in for Mano Ginobili. San Antonio making a switch here. Ginobili's checked in. Both shots good from the strike. And that's the knockout blow right there, guys. Those free throws should put this one away. Just too much of a deficit to overcome. Just not enough clicks and ticks left on that clock in this one, Greg. San Antonio calls timeout. They're up by 12. 26 seconds left in the fourth. Guys, what's your take? You know, this is a timeout maybe just so they can pat each other on the back because no other reason to call it. Well, they're really just being conservative, making sure they don't make any <coughs> last-minute mistakes, I guess. I mean, I have no idea. No idea. Good job, bro. 24 game win San Antonio's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Green, the pass to Aldridge. The dish to Gasol. It's held in by Diallo. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time, no question. And that one's good. That is a very low percentage shot, Kevin, but it's the result they were looking for at the end of the day. And finished off by Gasol. And they feel good about this win tonight, guys, defending their home court. I agree. Job well done. They gave these fans exactly what they wanted. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. There you go. That's the way to end it. And that's the dagger oh, right there. Really the nail in the car. I'd agree. I mean, they've done a great job of sealing this one, closing it out. Like guy. And they never backed off, even with the big lead. I love to see teams do that. And so it's San Antonio easily taking this one. 24. A confident row. win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. They certainly put on a good show here That's at home, good. and I think they felt they had the edge and that extra little bit of confidence. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony and Clark Hill, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. Now, Jordan presents the player of the game. Jamarcus, okay. Chip. Yeah. Chip. It's a Habibi's thing, yeah. Yeah. My side girl I'll got a five back, ass with the screen crack. Still hit me back right away. Better not never hesitate. Don't come around, think you're getting saved. Trying to show the dogs brighter days. Got the toys trying to light the way. Biting everybody back. with your side right What color control you got? Black, I got white. What do you got? White, black, camo, pink. What do you got? I could never have a kid then be out here still playing around. Where you really want to take it now? I got a hundred fifty thousand dollars for a one streak, fella.